Stay Hang forward. on. Hang on. No. Okay, go. Start again. Hello, everybody. We've got a very special book today called Miss May's Saturday. And it's written by Justine Flynn, who is one of the parents in our school. So that's a very special book for us. Miss May's Saturday. Oh, there she is. May loved Saturdays. Saturdays were when Grandma came to visit. They went on the most marvellous adventures together. At the ballet, they watched dancers spin like tops. At the zoo, they saw monkeys swing from trees. And in the park, they sat on a picnic rug eating chocolate cake. But this Saturday was a little different. Where are we going today? May asked. It is raining, Miss May said, Grandma. We will have our adventure right here at home with this. Grandma's eyes twinkled as she held out a large cardboard box. The box was empty. Grandma chuckled. We can go anywhere in the world with this box. Where should we head to first? Africa, said May. But how? Jump in and see, Miss May. Grandma sat down inside the box. This jeep is ready to go. May clambered in. Hold on to your underpants, shouted Grandma. <laughs> May gasped. Suddenly, they were sitting in a jeep under a scorching sun. They bounced along the dusty track and swerved through long grass. Grandma stopped the jeep and pointed. Look at that, Miss May, a lion. May could hardly believe her eyes. <laughs> Let's stand on that rock and see what else we can spot, said Grandma. May jumped. This isn't a rock. It's a big sleeping rhino. And we're woken him up. Grandma grabbed May's hand, quick, into the aeroplane. What the box is turned into an aeroplane. <laughs> oh, the tiny aeroplane flew between rows of beautiful trees in bloom. May looked around in wonder. Where are we, Grandma? Grandma smiled. This is mm. Korea. In springtime, Miss May. Once they landed, Grandma led May towards a little wooden house. The women are preparing a sea cer ceremony, said Grandma. Remember to take off your shoes, Miss May. I like their colourful clothes, whispered May. Me too, said Grandma. Where to next? said Grandma. How far can we go? asked May. As far as you can imagine. May thought very carefully. Then she whispered her answer in her grandma's ear. Grandma gave a great big grin. Brilliant idea, Miss May. I've got just the thing to get us there. Grandma turned and pointed to a space rocket. Ready when you are, Miss May. May and her grandma climbed inside. The rocket zoomed through the sky so fast that May's tummy turned upside down. At last, the rocket touched down on the dusty moon with a thud. May and her grandma tumbled out of its hatch. We're floating, exclaimed May. 
They had a great time doing forward rolls. <laughs> After a while, May stopped and pointed at a blue and green planet in the distance. Grandma, is that Earth? We are so far away. Grandma nodded. It sure is. We can come back any time now. You know the secret. May cuddled her tightly. Thank you, Grandma. It's been our best adventure ever. Back home, Grandma showed May how to shake the space dust from her clothes. I hope it rains again next Saturday, said May. And that's the end of the story. Yay!